Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you are here. Today I am sharing anthropology inspired Dollar Tree DIYs, room decor, home decor ideas. These are all inspired by beautiful pieces that I've seen in anthropology lately. The first one that I'm gonna show you guys is something that I have seen a lot of people use on Instagram and in their YouTube videos. And I absolutely fell in love with this piece from anthropology but before i run to the store and buy it i just wanted to see what can we make from dollar tree how close can we get it what can we come up with can't wait to share them with you let me know which one is your favorite if you might recreate any of these and what you think i always love hearing from you guys so without further ado let's jump into this video so i am taking this face from dollar tree painting it white i decided to kind of dab chalk paint on with a sponge brush and give it a little bit of texture this way but you can just use spray paint if you want for a smoother finish once it's dry i come back to do the ridges and all the raised surfaces here with a gold leafing pen along all the ridges and i didn't worry about trying to make it look perfect you can do this in the perfect diamond shape pattern that's already on the base or you can try to round out the edges a little bit more to make it look more like the honeycomb circle shape like the anthropology vase has this is how it turned out i totally love it even though it has some little differences like the top of the vase being smooth instead of the more jagged edge of the anthropology one definitely let me know in the comments what you think of it and if you think i should just keep this one or if i should go ahead and get one from anthropology i do love both so i'm kind of undecided now what to do Anyway, moving on to the next one, I was inspired by this piece from Anthropology, and I decided to neatly cut the material from this Dollar Tree pillow. I showed you guys these pillows back in one of my Dollar Tree hauls, or maybe on Instagram. I'm at Style My Sweets. If you're not following me there, you totally should, because I share more DIY pictures, behind the scenes, bonus shop with me hauls, and inspiration, and it's so much fun but I am cutting and gluing this material around a Dollar Tree vase. I'm using a seven and a half inch one, but you know what? I think there's enough material to cover a nine inch one if you wanna make it taller. Neatly trim the edges and then I am sponging on this metallic chalk paint. I just feel like this paint color looks exactly like the leather color in the photo of the anthropology one. Of course, you could do a black one as well if you want in order to make the set like you see in their picture. I will have the chalk paints and everything I used linked down below for you guys. The only thing I wish I did differently on this one would be to paint the back side of the material before attaching it to the glass because you can see the light backing of the material when you look down inside the vase although i'm placing my little cactus in here and it fills in the top perfectly so you can't even tell for the base though there's a couple ways to do this first of all the darker colored wooden game blocks are the perfect color so i recommend using those if you have any and if you made the candle holder risers from my last diy video you probably ended up with some of these left over so this will be perfect you can use whatever glue you want but i recommend wood glue i'll link it below it's pretty cheap and totally worth having on hand so I ended up positioning the blocks with one on the ends so they would be as low as possible since the anthropology ones are pretty small. But let me know if you think it looks better overall with the style holder that I created here with these brown blocks or the way it looks on one I did previously with these blocks that I painted black, which by the way, I did this one for a Pottery Barn inspired DIYs video. I'll have that linked at the end of this video as well as down in the description box. Moving on, the next one is a tall planter vase and I'm taking two of these waste baskets from Dollar Tree and putting the widest parts at the tops together with some hot glue and then taking two of these smaller matching baskets. I've got one going upside down underneath and one going right side up, up on the top. Everything is hot glued together and don't worry if you're if it doesn't stay like 100% together. We are going to start at the bottom and cover this entire thing in rope, gluing it on as you go. I always call this stuff nautical rope, but I think the term for this one is something else actually. It's a little bit different than nautical rope, but any rope you want to use should work for this. So I will have the one that I used linked down below if you want to check it out. 
I love that you can get it in a super large quantity because it is just much more cost effective that way and it ensures that your whole project can be finished in a single piece of rope which just makes it look neater than when you have a lot of ends and seams. The top part I also painted over with some black chalk paint in order to kind of look like the picture here from Anthropology. Let everyone know if you have ideas for what we could use to create that super long narrow top that the Anthropology one has. You guys are probably wondering why I didn't do that part of this DIY and I was looking in Dollar Tree. They do have some different things we could probably use, but personally I like the look of this better. I felt like that long narrow top looks like, I don't know, it just kind of reminded me of a floppy elephant trunk or something, like a long elephant nose. So I honestly didn't like that, so I decided to just leave mine like this. But definitely, if you have an idea what to use, share your ideas in the comments below. I would love to know everyone's suggestions. Now, the next one might be my favorite. It turned out so good, you guys. I took a bowl from Dollar Tree, painted a blush pink colored rectangle on here to match the anthropology planter. I did the same thing with that metallic terracotta color that we used to paint our faux leather. I was unable to find a blue chalk paint in the exact color that I wanted, so I went with this acrylic paint. Um, I believe Walmart carries this brand, although I got mine on Amazon, so I'll have everything linked for you, but I know you can get it for like less than a dollar in Walmart. Um, and that worked pretty well too, so you can probably use whichever you prefer. Chalk paint or acrylic paint should work. Just get the colors that you want, and I feel like the colors I used look almost exactly like the anthropology vase. So I took my black oil Sharpie paint marker and I did the black lines on here. And I actually did the same thing to both sides. So you'll see a portion of color from no matter which way that you're looking at this pot. The anthropology one has a little stand to it. So I took this little round jewelry trinket tray from Dollar Tree, hot glued it underneath the bowl to make a base. And that's all there is to it. I thought that this one was my least favorite at first, but now that it's done, I really, really like how it looks so much. Definitely let me know which one of these four DIYs you think turned out the best. Please like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss anything new. Thank you so, so much for watching. I wish you a beautiful and blessed day and I will see you guys all soon in the next one. Bye!